What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta check out the truth about wrestling YouTube by none other than wrestling flashback. Apparently, he gave a, a few shout outs to uh some of the wrestling content creators on YouTube, and I believe uh um he also shouted me out. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to checking this out, man. And uh, shout out to him. I believe uh, he had messaged me on Instagram, said he he um, appreciates my reactions to his compilation. So definitely, if you haven't already, go subscribe to Wrestling Flashback right now, man. Uh, he's a dope content creator. He just brings back the nostalgia of the 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 good old days of of the Attitude Era and uh, just. Um, even different other eras like attitude era the ruthless aggression era and just older clips that you know we grew up watching so shout out to him man let's check this out i'm, I'm very excited about this man appreciate all the love and support on the channel let's do this thing one two is this on is this on the weird and wonderful world of wrestling YouTube. Mm -hmm. Wrestling is melodrama. Wrestling is mythology. Wrestling is action. Wrestling is comic books. The only thing wrestling isn't is wrestling. Now, I've been an avid <laughs> watcher of YouTube wrestling videos for the best part of 10 years. If you love pro wrestling, chances are you've stumbled upon a YouTube creator now and again mm -hmm. that you love watching. Yep. Wrestling fans can genuinely be some of the most entertaining people on the planet. And throughout my time watching YouTube, I've seen them all from the early days of wrestling fan reviews to the buildup of more professionally yep. produced channels. There is literally a wrestling YouTube channel for everyone. Whether you love the informative videos talking about wrestling's past, whether you love opinions and reviews of past shows, whether you like wrestling parodies and botches, whether you like wrestling podcasts, whether you enjoy watching old clips and compilations, or even if you just like watching- Ah, oh, that's dope. Ah, oh, that's cool, man. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for showing us some love. The In The Clutch Squad, yeah. You know we be checking out some of the wrestling clips on the main page. Thank you, man. Once again, that's awesome. Fans react to those compilations. The list is endless. Wrestling YouTube features some of the smartest, hilarious, and entertaining creators who, along with the wrestlers, many of us have grown up with. Hello, my friends, and welcome to night two of WrestleMania. Now, you might be wondering, why am I mentioning this on my channel? Well, because it's a big reason why I'm making videos today. And I'd like to thank each and every one of these creators, no matter how big or small, for paving That's the way. That's awesome, bro. You see, I've been a wrestling fan for as long as I can remember. And I remember my first match being Ric Flair versus Hulk Hogan Damn, back in WCW in 1995. <laughs> my whole family was into it. And I dreamt about getting into the business somehow, whether that be as an active wrestler, a commentator, an announcer, or even a referee. I just knew that I wanted my future job <laughs> to be something to do with the crazy world of oh. pro wrestling. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm sure like many of you, life catches up with you. And instead, like so many others, I gave up on that dream and landed a corporate job as an accountant. Since then, I've tried my hand at a few other things, but I always had that urge to somehow make a living from the one thing I've always loved pro wrestling mm -hmm. as bad as the lockdown in 2020 was it did allow me to rekindle my love for pro wrestling Damn. i got some downtime and i started to post some of my favorite clips from the past on tiktok and instagram so i just started this tiktok page about three days ago that's I'm awesome already on 8450 followers we'll keep you posted a year and a half later these pages grew like crazy yeah. with hundreds of thousands of followers and due to the high demand for youtube videos i finally decided to bring my videos to the platform i'd watched for the last 10 years in december 2021 now i just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who've watched and shared the videos mm -hmm. because i've had over 30 million views and gained over 60 000 that's subscribers awesome, in bro. just four short months i that's just found one of the funniest wrestling videos i've ever seen on youtube it's called santino morella mispronouncing names <laughs> gotta sh i gotta share it I've laughed my ass off at some of you guys' comments and video reactions. Oh, we got another one on here. Yeah, we did check out your video uh, on the main page a few months back. That was a that was a funny one too, bro. Which have made it that much oh, more that's worthwhile. Awesome, bro. Hey, that's dope too. You shouted me out too, man. That's awesome, bro. Dog, this this video made my night. This video made my night, bro. This this was this is great, bro. This is super, super dope, bro. Keep doing it, bro. Keep doing your thing, man. 
the wrestling community, we support you. You know what I'm saying? I know I support you because I know it takes time and effort to make these compilations. And you have literally brought some laughter to my day anytime I check out your vids, bro. Thank you so much, man. You're you're dope, bro. Oh, oh what the <laughs> Unfortunately though, just like anything, all good things come to an end. Oh, I was damn. no longer able to monetize the compilation videos because they weren't deemed significant value add by YouTube. Now, wow. as much as I would love to produce the content for free, there are a number of hours that go into creating any one video. Damn. So it just isn't sustainable for me to do so. But for those of you who still want the previous compilations, and the new ones I'll be making each week, you can subscribe to my new Patreon. There's a link in the description to access all of those. But on the bright side, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a link and I'm gonna pin it down below. I'm gonna find a link and I'm gonna pin it down below. Y'all, we gotta go show him some love on Patreon, man. He's making these clips for us, so I'm gonna pin the link to his Patreon as the first comment. We gotta show him love, bro. Like this is something something that we all enjoy and the fact that he can't make money off of it he deserves to make some type of compensation so I'll go i'm going to link down the description of uh the link to his patreon and let me know if you've subscribed to him man show him some love bro this is we need to help him out because he's helped us out with creating some dope compilation i was expecting this to eventually happen which is why I decided to supplement the videos with commentary style videos where I share my thoughts, opinions and insights into certain topics in wrestling. Many of you seem to be enjoying those, which is great. So in the future, I'll continue to peel back the curtain and hopefully provide you with some valuable insight into the wrestling business that you might not have known before. So with that being said, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ricky and I've been working on Wrestling Flashback for the last two years. Damn. So in the second half of this video, I'm going to respond to a few of the Q&A questions you guys have submitted. And I'm also going to respond to a few hate comments. So that should be quite interesting. So Atif says, I want to thank you for the videos. Respect for the support. And then who is your top five wrestlers of all time? Okay, so this is a tough one. So I'm going to go off the dome pretty quick and say Shawn Michaels, mm -hmm. Bret Hart, okay. Eddie Guerrero, The Rock. And it's a toss up between Austin and Taker, but I'll give it to Austin. And okay. that's my favorite, not best. I don't want you guys to murder me in the comments. So I'm not going <laughs> to say my best. Quite yet. I might do a video on it though. So Arian asks, how do you come up with topics for videos? What inspires you to start a channel? What challenges you face? And what other YouTubers do you watch? So the topics for videos usually come from my, my head. I'm literally, I go for a run every morning and then I just think of stuff off the bat. And then watching other videos, seeing how they're made and then kind of just putting my own little twists on things. They give me ideas. What inspired me to start a YouTube channel, I actually started on TikTok and Instagram two years ago. So I literally just quit my job as a corporate accountant and TikTok wow. was like a big thing at the time. So I was like, oh, okay, everything's on TikTok. Let me just find some wrestling videos. And at the time, which is completely different to right now, there were literally no wrestling videos. So I decided wow. to step up for the team and I started wrestling TikTok back in, I think it was July, 2020. I don't know if there were some creators before me or not. I didn't see them. But yeah, so I just started posting on their old clips. I think my first video was of this clip of Stephanie and Triple H. The game always came up a little bit <laughs> short. Oh my God. Maybe it was not so much that it was the game that was short. Maybe it was that the Classic field I was playing segment. on was just too damn big. <laughs> <laughs> Even a 747 <laughs> looks small when you're flying it into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and within a day, it was on like 1.4 million That's views. That's awesome. So I like skyrocketed to like 3,000 followers. And I was like, oh, there's a demand for this. So I just kept doing it. I did it for like two years to the point loads of people were like, get on YouTube, get on YouTube, mm -hmm. got on YouTube. And here we are. In terms of copyright strikes, I've got no strikes, but you get a hell of a lot of copyright claims. Like mm -hmm. my inbox from YouTube is full of claims. Yep. What other YouTubers do I suggest? Well, in this video, you've seen a lot that I mentioned before. But if I give a quick three off the top of the dome, it's Promo Joe. I think it's funny. It's like the new Botchamania, but it's shorter videos. So easier to consume. I like Rest in Bios, very informative, great content. And Tap Out Corner. Those are my three favorite. I like right the little now, tap out. Riley McKenzie says top did. 10 reasons Indians love Roman Reigns. You know what? I've seen that loads. Every time I post something about Roman Reigns, it goes batshit viral. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why. Indians love Roman Reigns. I'm Indian. Um, do I like Roman Reigns? Yes. But why? 
I'm not so sure. If you're Indian, maybe comment <laughs> in this video. Why do you, why you, why do you love, Indians love Roman, Roman Reigns, Reigns so much? <laughs> Winston says, I've never watched wrestling before, but stumbled upon Undertaker Rise Up vids. Since then, I've been watched so many of your vids, subscribe to the WWE Network, and gorge myself on classic WrestleManias and Rumbles. Respect. Awesome. I'm glad um, the videos helped get you into wrestling. Okay, so that's most of the Q&A stuff done. And now it's time to move on to my favorite section, responding to all you haters out there. Oh, to be man. fair, I don't get much hate. Um, I would sometimes expect that I would actually get more, but um, you guys are quite tame. Not saying that I want more hate, but I yeah. appreciate that you guys are quite tame. And you guys, and a lot of you guys are actually really supportive. So and that's thank awesome, you all for man. That that's good to see. Throughout this whole journey, I've had so much support from so many of you. So um, I do want to say thank you. Florida Boy says, so you want us to pay for something we were already getting free beforehand. Nah, best of luck to you though. I understand you have to make a living. I respect it. Um, fair mm. play, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only reason I put it on Patreon is because I was getting paid for it before, and it does take a lot of time yeah. to make a compilation. Once again, I'm going to link down his Patreon as the first pinned comment. He deserves to get compensated for the amount of time he goes into compilations. I want you guys to understand, he's getting the clips, he's trying to cut them up so WWE doesn't block it, and that takes time. And a lot of these clips don't just go in order. A lot of these clips he's getting are from different <laughs> time, like, I guess you could say different periods in that era. You know what I'm saying? So he has to know exactly which clip he to get, how to cut it up, put it together. It's not that easy. That takes time. And uh, he deserves to get compensated for it. Man. Like When you think of, like, the JR one-liners, to try and find every single time he says, See? like, by God, or... That, this is just picked up. I mean, it so takes a while because, I mean, if I was to ask you, find me 10 clips of him saying business has picked up, it'd probably be very difficult for you to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes like hours of research to pick out those moments, put it together, whatever. So it's just not worth my while to just put it out for free. And I apologize. But I mean, I have given you guys free content for the last two years. So yeah. I mean, maybe give me a little bit of a break. Lol, way to kill a channel. Yeah, I'll just be moving all the compilations to a paid platform because I'm not doing this as a passion. It's purely for money. Goodbye. Um, I guess that's the same answer as previously. I mean, sometimes people can be a little bit entitled to think, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, I expect to get everything for free or whatever. I mean, A, I pay for the network. So, yeah. so there's money going in there for me to like gain the clips and then putting it all together takes hours i mean if you want though create your own and i'll happily watch and support you if you want to do it as a passion for free and i'm pretty sure i've got some subscribers who've watched as well so why don't you do us that service so this was on the christian edge video comparing the two alia hussein says first of all saying edge is a bigger star is bs because he really is not they're both the same you can cut that out sassy edge was not the focus that's why none of his matches were in the main event i'm pretty sure he was in the main event quite a few times mm -hmm. christian is an icon big star that everyone knows of that improved the rating by doing nothing in 2020 Look, I got no hate for Christian. It was more just a collective opinion on what everyone else thinks of the two and why Edge is seen as a bigger star. It does by no means mean that Edge is better than Christian. It's just yeah. that people related to him a lot more. The next time, think about posting an insulting, pathetic video. Let's see if you actually have the guts to reply. Well, I'm here, but um, but I do have to say your points were kind of invalid. But um, I respect your opinion. Say Twizelf says, seriously, I hate titles like these. It's best they don't show themselves because I'm the type to really confront them in person and pick a fight if I ever see them. I hate people like that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done this face reveal, guys. I think I'm going to get my ass kicked. What? XL Skin says, it's interesting videos, but you speak too much. We like the sound videos with public reaction. You know what? I like them too. If I could do that all day long, I would. It's easier for me to make. But unfortunately, the way the YouTube copyright system mm -hmm. works... That's just not possible. I want y'all to understand, man. The, the YouTube copyright system, it is, you gotta, it's a give and take relationship, bro. It's not as simple as turning on a camera, turning on your screen recorder, and calling in a day. No, you gotta be aware of what you can have, what you can't have, gotta cut out stuff, gotta keep stuff. It's it's a lot of, it's a lot that go into it more than you realize, you know what I'm saying? So, but shout out to him for making it work. So you're going to have to get used to the voice. Otherwise, you can always unsubscribe. Josh Peck's dad says, why do you keep posting videos? And then he goes on to say, stop making videos. He's just a troll. Um, you know, you can block me. <laughs> Jeremy the Unfallible says, what does your interest say? Something and then is this on? Lol, what the fuck? Well, if you were a wrestling fan in the Attitude Era, one of my favorite entrance themes was mm -hmm. the Triple H yeah. My Time theme. And that intro is actually is the this start. On? Of that song, yeah. I'll give you a 
quick little clip. Hopefully it doesn't get copyrighted. One, two, is this song? Zone? Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Harlow says, so what is the point of telling what is going to happen and then just show the clip? Well, I've got to add some context to the video, which is why yeah. I tell what happens. And if it was just all clip, then again, YouTube doesn't like that. That's reused content. So I've got to add a yeah. bit of my own flair to he it. He has which to transform it. This voice. Versatile Wolf NWO says, no disrespect, but this whole list is wrong from start. Please delete the video. <laughs> I can't even remember what video this was on, but um, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but fair enough so yeah there's not too much hate but i think that just about wraps up the video so thank you for taking the time to watch and if you watch till the end appreciate it and yeah subscribe to the channel like it tell me i'm good tell me i'm bad tell me whatever i do not mind at all everyone has this was dope definitely had to hit a like with this um i'm already subscribed to him i'm gonna does he have the patreon link in here yes he does i'm gonna link down copy the patreon link it down as the first comment uh in uh in the comment section show him some love bro show him some love <laughs> he shouted out the end of clutch page and my personal page so shout out to you man keep doing your thing bro you know the love and support will always be over here man so comment down below let me know what's y'all favorite wrestling youtube channel to check out outside of me uh, i may not even be some of y'all favorite maybe y'all just like me um but <laughs> what's y'all favorite YouTube channels to check out, wrestling channels to check out outside of me. Uh personally, I do like Parts One Known. I do check out Wrestle Talk. Uh um Cultaholic. Definitely love some Cultaholic wrestling. Um those are some of the the main notable noticeable ones. I do like WrestleMania. I do check out some of the stuff outside of um of the uh me recording i know some people don't really too much care for his fiends on twitter uh jd from new york i know a lot of people don't care too much for his opinions but i do agree with a lot of what he says you know what i'm saying he can be a little extra but i, I have been subscribed to jd for quite some time and i think um polano productions a lot of people don't really care for his takes too much but i do check out some of his stuff off camera as well but those are some of the noticeable ones i can think of off the top of my head i know there's plenty more but comment down below let me know and uh definitely go hit down uh hit up his patreon and uh show him some love but i appreciate all love support road to 90k appreciate y'all keeping with me see you on the next one peace